there that used to that brought back memories of my childhood my father used to make and sell ice cream not that it's ice cream weather at the moment as a matter of fact and for the week ahead it is to say the least going to be changeable that means rain from time to time just about everywhere we must spare a thought though for our neighbors in Europe because they haven't been having the rain that we've been having in fact we have drought conditions across many parts of Europe and it's getting quite serious 80 percent of crops are uh, threatened there the rivers are at record low levels and we have forest fires to boot but here it's a very different story we're going to have low pressure with us right the way through the week different ones running in from the Atlantic from time to time keeping the changeable weather going bringing bands of wind and rain across the country in between we'll get some drier and brighter interludes but I don't think they're necessarily going to last all that long we have one at the moment not necessarily drier certainly a little bit brighter but already the clouds are beginning to bubble up and showers are starting to develop so we could well get showers the heaviest ones, I think, in northern and eastern areas, some rumbles of thunder. The best chance of staying dry, the best chance of getting some sunshine, South Wales and South West England, and more particularly, I think, in other parts of the country later on in the day as the showers begin to fade. So probably the best part of the day, actually, is going to be this evening. And as I know to my cost, the pollen index, once again, is fairly high. There have been problems with the cricket at the a test match, further interruptions both today and tomorrow. Temperatures actually, dis despite the fact that we are going to have some showers, not bad for the time of year, 21, 22 degrees. Now, showers will fade away this evening. They'll just keep going around western and southern coast, but we are looking at some more general rain to arrive in the southwest late in the night, lowest temperatures 11 or 12 degrees. So another weather system rushing in from the Atlantic tomorrow. First thing tomorrow, we'll see the signs of the rain coming in towards Ireland and the southwest, and that wet weather will work its way across most parts of the country during the course of the day, maybe one or two showers ahead of it and coming along behind somewhat brighter and somewhat drier weather the rain eventually will push as far as the fourth and Clyde valleys but for central and northern Scotland a different story sunshine and showers throughout the day temperatures again rather like today's not far from average for the time of year <laughs> another weather system does the same thing on Tuesday we start off with some bright weather we find another band of rain coming up from the southwest across most parts of the country the old ones still affecting northern Scotland and then following along behind once again somewhat brighter weather Low pressure, though, stays close by on Wednesday, so although it'll be brighter, we will have a fair number of showers, especially in the eastern half of the country, where some of those showers could turn out to be heavy and thundery, but not many showers in the west. A nicer, brighter, drier interlude then, and that brighter interlude, I think, will move across to eastern parts on Thursday, but it's not going to last long in the west, because yet another band of rain and strong winds come to that will be moving in during the second half of the day. And here's that weather system. It's going to be affecting the easternmost parts of the country on Friday, giving some outbreaks of rain there, whereas the west by then has reverted to the brighter conditions with sunshine and showers. So as I said, it's summed up in one word, and that's changeable.